Okay. Um, we are going to go through an example of how to determine whether a curve has a tangent at a given point. Now, to figure out if a curve has a tangent at a given point, what that means is basically, do we have a derivative at the given point? Is there a derivative? Is there a slope of the curve at the given point? All right. So we're looking for is there a derivative at the point? Now, to answer that, um, we have to understand what we're looking for. Okay. So when we have, for example, an equation um, like this, this piecewise graph, we're trying to figure out does this piecewise graph at zero, okay? That's what I said right there. At zero, does it have a derivative there? So do you have a tangent or do you have a, a slope of the curve at that point? Now, remember um, that in order for this to be true, we have to have the limit as, and we'll use the alternate form because I think it's easier here. Um, as x approaches zero of f of x minus f of zero over x minus zero, this has to be equal, or right, that has to exist. Okay, this has to exist. Well, in order for this to exist, this has to be true. The limit as x approaches zero from the right side of this, f of x, f of zero, over x minus zero, has to equal the limit as x approaches zero to the left of f of x minus f of zero over x minus zero. Okay? So we have to identify that these two slopes, basically the slope from the right, this is what it is, the slope on the right, the, on the right of zero, has to equal the slope on the left of zero. Oops, on the left of zero. All right? On the left of zero. Now, how do you do that? Okay, that's a good question. Well, first off, let's look at the graph. All right, so we're going to graph this piecewise function. So to do that, I'm just going to quickly sketch a graph of this. For the first part, we're going to have negative x. Negative x is a line. And we're going to start at 0. So um, we're going to 0 there. So we have a, let's get green here. All right, and I'll put an open circle here at 0. And it's going to go down. So I'm plug in, like, for example, something less than 0. So the negative 1, negative 1 is going to be 1. So we're going to have a point right here. And we'll have this graph like so. And on the other side, we're going to have another function. So we're going to have 0 here. And we're going to plug this in here. Um, and as you plug it in here, we're going to have 0 as well. Okay. That's going to fill it in. And then we're going to plug in some other values. So we have 0. And if you plug in x, we have a 1. All right. And it appears probably going to go like this. Some more like so. All right. Now, to figure this out, we're going to find these values by finding the derivative at the right and left side. So the right side of the function is going to be all the values where x is going to be greater than 0. So it's going to actually use that function. So we're going to find the derivative all right, on the side using this function right here. So we're going to take this limit, the limit as x approaches 0 to the right. We're going to use this one because that's on the right of x. And we're going to plug it in. So we got x squared minus x minus f of 0, so we're going to plug in 0, which is 0, all over x. Well, when you have this, you have x squared minus x over x. All right? And you realize you get 0 over 0 when you do the limit, so we're going to cancel out some things. We're going to factor out an x. So we have x minus 1. x, cancel, I cancel. And we're going to do the limit now as x approaches 0 to the right. And what we get is negative 1. And that makes sense because we can see this is negative 1, and that's the slope of that little, um, oops, negative 1, sorry, wrong one. So that's the slope right here as we approach this one. So that, at that point, is going to be negative 1. Well, that's good. That's good. And so we're going to verify now that the other one is also true. So now we're going to go to the left. Well, the left is this line. And I'm sorry that I wrote it incorrectly last time. I'm going to use it right again. That's that line. And so the right is this one, this green part. All right, and now we're going to use the left part right there. And so let's do this one. Let's find a limit as x approaches 0 to the left. And we're going to use this function now for that one. Because that's everything less than 0, which is to the left. We're going to plug in negative x, so that's by f of x, minus f of 0, which is 0, all over x minus 0, which is x. We take that, we're going to have negative x over x. Simplify, and we get negative 1. 
So the limit as x approaches 0 to the left is also negative 1. Because this right side of that function and the left side equal each other, what we know is... We know that this statement is true. The slope on the right is equal to the slope on the left. And therefore, yes, I can answer this. Determine whether the curve at a given point, um, tangent at a given point, the answer is yes. And that slope is equal to negative 1. And that's how we figure that out. So the key thing is to identify what is happening to the right and left of that function. All right, we'll do another example in the next um, tutorial.